It was hot, humid, and jam-packed full of people. A creative, bustling city in the south of England hosted Develop Brighton. Hello everyone, my name's Matt. I'm community manager for mobile here at Quali. And amidst the chaos of high temperatures, we connected with so many talented people. We heard from leaders in their field. We watched games in their infancy grow day by day. Uh, our PC and mobile teams in collaboration attended the event. I got a chance to talk to Georgie, events manager, about what made Develop Brighton so special. I've heard a lot of good things here. Yeah. <laughs> it's been a really yeah. great event for learning about what's going on in the industry. I've heard some great talks about, um, you know, about like AAA games, and I've heard great talks about the metaverse. And I think um, one of my sort of key takeaways is actually about how gameplay, uh, game is change, games are changing, and in a good way, that they're changing to be much more inclusive, much more accessible and diverse. And seeing some of the examples like at this conference and, and seeing what other studios and publishers are doing to make sure that they, um, they, they, they make sure that they are including yeah. and covering, you know, a, so many different groups of people. It's so great to see how they like what they're doing. And I think that we could learn an awful lot from that and, and it will help us, uh, yeah, be, be more inclusive and, yeah. and aware in the future. And yeah. I think that's something that I've taken to. It's, that is so important and it's on people's minds and it's something that's at the forefront of, I think lots of studios want to do better, right? Absolutely, yeah. And especially when looking at like, the metaverse, that is a big, the M word about at the moment, everyone's talking about the metaverse and looking at how it's evolved and how the technology is improved and it, it allows us to be much more inclusive. It allows us to mm. be much more user friendly, creative yep. and ex experimental. And yep. I'm really excited to see where we go in that space. I know not everyone can make events like this. Uh, maybe you were thinking about going, but didn't quite take the leap. I spoke to Tom, publishing manager, about why it's important to come to events like this. And maybe next time, we'll see you there. I mean, come, like, look at it, it's amazing. <laughs> yeah. like, go, come hang out, like, you, you will meet a lot of people uh, that are doing what you were doing, which is the, the biggest hope by far. You, you yeah. get to sort of, uh, you realize you go from that self-contained space where you're building games and something like, oh, there's all these people making amazing games, you get to see them yeah. all. Plus, there's always the angle, like, you, you've got something, you got it, you don't know how to make it work, or you got it, you don't know quite where it's going. We're here to make sure that it goes somewhere, somewhere pretty exciting. Like, okay. we're here to make it. That, those, that's the reason why you should go. Perfect. Now, for those of you getting started in the industry and want to know if this is an event that you should attend, I sat down with Kieran, marketing manager, and he explained what to expect at an event like this. Here's what he had to say. We've been here for a few days now, just soaking up the atmosphere in this beautiful sunny town, meeting amazing people working in the games industry. Uh, people from all stages of their careers, whether it's people for the first time looking to bag their dream job, to people who have been around in the industry for decades, know what they're doing and are looking for the next big hit. Absolutely. And we actually just had that when we were in the, in the uh, expo. Someone came up to us who was excited to talk to people within the industry. And I think that's a great thing that Develop Brighton does. So if you're out there and you want to connect with publishers, developers, definitely consider coming to one of these like Develop Brighton. I think that's one of the biggest pieces of advice I would give as well is don't hesitate to talk to people. Yeah. It's quite refreshing to for, for that like proactive, like come and talk to me, that's yeah. fantastic. Um, Everyone's here because they love games, they love working in the industry, and so you tend to have at least one thing in common with someone else. Of course, we are in Brighton, and I couldn't let them go without asking what it's like to come to an event in such an inclusive, free-thinking city. We're in Brighton, of course, as we said. Sunny, sunny Brighton. We've done all sorts of fun things. Last night, we went up on a, basically a spaceship. We're, we're standing... Yeah. We're standing in front of it now. We'll show the we'll show the clip of it. Oh but yeah! This massive spaceship. Um, for you, what's been the most exciting thing about Brighton? I, I would say uh, sweltering heat, <laughs> yes, um, yeah. being unable to break. No, no, no. But it's 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 beautiful uh, city. I've never been here before. 
Um, I'm very jealous of anyone who gets to live this close to the sea. Yeah. It's really like, fantastic. Well, we were, we were talking about wanting to move our department to Brighton, <laughs> right? Because it's just so nice. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, it, it may be. I don't know. <laughs> one maybe. day. One day. Well, I actually grew up in the area. Like, for the first seven years of my life, I lived in a little uh, like commuter town just outside Brighton. Okay. And uh, it's so good to be back here. Um, it is yeah. pretty much exactly how I remember it from when I was a child, which is good, I think. Uh, nostalgic. Yeah, it's yeah nostalgic. nostalgic. And yeah, I've had the chance to, you know, go, go on the beach. I went for a swim this morning. What we take away from events like this is incredibly important. How we process everything we've learned, take it back to Kuali to help grow the studio. This event in particular, we learned a lot. And this is what they had to say. Yeah, so my goal really is to spread the word about Kuali and what we offer to um, indie developers. Mm -hmm how uh, our services can help complement them and their skill sets, as well as promote our overall studio and encourage people to find out more about us and join us if they want to. Okay. Um, so I think what I'm going to take away from this is just the, the level of passion that people have. Everyone tends to be here for like one specific reason, uh, or maybe a few, and it's normally something that they care about deeply. It yeah. might be diversity in the industry, it might be their game that they've nurtured as their precious thing for years and are about to hit on the market. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna take away quite a lot from today. Well, that's it from me. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. I appreciate you taking the time to find out a little bit more about Develop Brighton and also the people behind the scenes at Kuali who really make it such a success. Thank you very much. And until next time, I'm Matt and I'll see you in the next one. Right. What's the next video?